Howdy, 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 Zach Scott here with another quick Source Filmmaker to blah, blah. Howdy, 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 Zach Scott here with another iPiesoft tutorial today, not Source Filmmaker. Um, but I guess we will get into Source Filmmaker, so I sh shouldn't really correct my blah, blah. Blah. I'm off my game today. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to run iPie Mocap Studio. Um, so first, you're going to need some uh, recorded uh, iPie video files, which you can get from uh, iPie Recorder, uh, which is free, even if you don't have the mocap studio, this part is free. Um, and uh, I'm not going to tell you how to use this program, there are other tutorials for it. Uh, I'm just going to show you what my workflow is once we get the iPie video into mocap studio. And uh, that's really, I'm really just cutting out one very short step here. Uh, it's pretty much you just hit record and then you get your data and then you uh, dump it into mocap studio. Um, Right now I'm running a dual connect setup. Uh, your mileage may vary. If you're using the uh, demonstration uh, software, you will only have one connect available to you. And I think you can skip the calibration step, which I'm going to show you here in this tutorial. Anyway, moving on. So first off, I need to navigate to where my uh, mocap is. So I think it's under documents, uh, iPy Studio, blah. There it is, iPiSoft, and then I've just got them all dumped kind of in here somewhere, uh, left or right, center. Yeah, so I've recorded some files here. So I have a Scientist Clipboard and Scientist Idle Calibration. So those are the two files I'm going to look at today. So first I'm going to drop in my calibration file, because before you do any work on a real file, you need to, uh, you know, make sure you know where the uh, connects are and all that. So you'll generally make a calibration file, and then you'll use that to process you know 20 30 takes in this case we're just going to do one though so i dropped in my scientist uh, idle calibration and i'm just going to make it a new calibration project and uh here we go i'd show you the calibration process itself but uh it's kind of taxing but basically all i did was um walk around with this big board here and uh, as you can see in the video and uh it generated some data off that so if you want to see what all the depth data looks like uh you can do view uh, show depth from all sensors, and as you can see, I have two uh, disparate knees walking around, not really connected in any way. So we're going to fix that. So uh, the reason I was walking around with that board is because iPiSoft uses um, a flat plane to calculate uh, the calibration so it figures out uh, where the connects are. So um, it's really just as simple as me selecting a chunk of uh, a chunk of time in here and uh, whoops, running the calibrate based on 3D plane thing. So a recurring uh, theme in this tutorial is that some of these functions in iPiSoft take a little bit of time to run. Uh, they're not very difficult to do, but they're, they, they just have to process for a bit. So uh, as you can see here, we're kind of just burning away the seconds. So when those pop up, I'm just, get, I'm just going to hit pause so we can uh, fast forward to the end here. And boom, the process has finished. Uh, so that has uh, quickly just kind of, as you can see now when I play this, my two uh, connects are, are uh, tracking the same area. So uh, that's pretty much done. Calibration complete. So once you're done with that, make sure to save your calibration scene out. Uh, I'm just going to keep the name the same. And uh, yeah, that's fine. So now I can bring in my real file. So I'm going to grab Scientist Clipboard and drop that in. Uh, I'm not going to save that. Uh, and this is an action project, because there's stuff that happens in it. So uh, the calibration is going to be scientist calibration, which I just made. And uh, yeah, it's one actor. I am approximately 183 centimeters. And uh, boom. So what you see here is my footage and uh, this kind of dude here hanging out. Um, so all we really need to do to get this tracking is uh, line them up. So... Uh, as I kind of scrub through here, yeah, that's all good. So I find the area in my recording where I did T-pose. So uh, right about there, I think. Actually, going to scrub back just a tiny bit. Right there. I'm going to select it so that that is where my clip starts. And uh, for the end, I will have it end um, somewhere out here. Well... I'm just going to make it short. So I'm going to have it end right there. Uh, it's not exactly short, about 500 frames, but uh, it's shorter than doing the whole thing. Anyway, I'm going to line you up, uh, this purple guy. 
And I'm just going to kind of slide him into position so that he is overlaid with uh, my cluster of dots here. And uh, he's kind of pretty close there. I'm going to grab his arm, which isn't quite in position. Uh, yeah, straighten them out. The idea is not to be perfectly in T-pose, but just to get this skinned rig uh, as close to the positioning that you were in as possible for starters. So uh, that's pretty okay. Make sure to view it from the front too to see. Yeah, actually I think he's a bit too tall here. Um, I'm a bit hunched since my uh, surgery, so I'm going to shrink him down a bit. And uh, drag you down a little bit more. Yeah, actually maybe bigger. Bigger's fine. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to pull this arm using IK down just a tiny bit. And that's good. Uh, you generally don't need to be super precise, though um, it helps. <laughs> uh, and so I'm just going to start tracking. So in order to get data from this, we just have to tell uh, IPySoft to start going. So I'm going to turn on head tracking. I'm going to leave a uh, stiff lower spine because I'm not really doing anything uh, with my back here. Uh, and I'm just going to hit track forward. And as you can see, it's going to start uh, just chunking away. Um, it's kind of repositioning this uh, to what it thinks my pose was, and it'll do this every frame. Uh, it may or may not be uh, accurate, um, but generally it's pretty good. Uh, if it ever screws up on you, uh, you can just pause it. Uh, like, let's say the leg went out crazy, and then when you started tracking, it started getting all weird. Uh, I can't do that because I kind of got a good capture here. Um, but if it ever screws up on you and the legs start like breaking off into weird directions or the arms get all floppy, uh, you can actually pause the program and then manually go in and uh, re-rotate the arms and legs so that you're you're matching your uh, pose here. Um, unfortunately, I have a good clip here, so I can't really fake a breakdown. Um, otherwise, I'd show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, we're going to do this tutorial so everything goes good, and I'm going to just fast forward to the end of this tracking phase, and we'll go on to the smoothing phase. So tracking, and I'm just going to pause. And it's done. Nope, just kidding, it's still going. And boom, now it's actually done. So as you can see, I can just kind of scrub through here and we have some roughly captured mocap. Uh, some people might even use this directly, but they would be terrible people. Um, I have a bit of jittering on the feet here that you can see. Uh, the arms are a bit shaky. It's a, it's a little bit low quality, um, but we can fix that. So. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We are going to do smoothing. So, over here on the, uh, actually let's refine it first. The dirt. Yeah, so, um, kind of just the next step in the process is, you know, just kind of running this program from top to bottom on the right side here. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to frame one and hit refine forward, which is going to start a much longer, slower refinement process. This will be done in about, uh, five, five and a half minutes. So I'm going to pause it again. And boom, our refinement process is finished. So uh, as you can see now, when I play this animation, if I hide the depth here, uh, it's a lot smoother. Um, it's almost maybe usable if you're, uh, you know, a bit desperate. But um, we can refine this even better. So you can see there's still a bit of uh, shaking and nodding in the head and all that. So um, let's run a post-process jitter removal. So if I open this up, uh, you get the jitter removal menu. So what this basically means is uh, you can you can selectively uh, smooth or sharpen different parts of the body. Um, so uh, normally what I'll do is I'll leave the legs alone and I'll take the uh, or I'll or put the legs down to three. So the way this works is if you um if you, if you set the sliders over here on the five side, they'll they'll kind of smooth out and and flatten out. Uh, you'll lose a bit of motion if your arm is like waving back and forth. That'll kind of just get smoothed down to your arm just staying in one place. Uh, if you go the other side, uh, to the, the sharpen side, you will uh, get things to be crisper and faster and uh, a little more accurate. Um, so I like accurate head movement and uh, left arm, right arm. And then I like smooth torso. So I'm just going to leave those as my settings. And I'm just going to hit OK. Uh, you got to set this back to its uh, original spot in the timeline. And then uh, you just need to hit Apply and it will again start uh, removing jitter. So this is uh, the third slow process in this uh, thing, but it'll be the last, I think. Uh, sorry, I'm not really on my best uh, 
game for this tutorial. Uh, normally I do these uh, when I, I, I do a tutorial when I'm doing the actual task that I need to do for that. Um, in this case, uh, I did a bunch of mocap and it was uh, too much for me to handle right now. So I'm really tired and kind of uh, screwed up. But we're almost done with this tutorial, so I can finish it off. Um, mostly I wanted this tutorial to show you how uh, easy and, and straightforward it is to get the mocap processed out of iPySoft and looking smooth. Um, if you need more in-depth uh, you know, information, I strongly recommend you do a quick Google search and uh, you know go to the iPySoft wiki page or uh, find other video tutorials for this program. There are quite a few out there. Um, I just figure uh, a lot of the tutorials are fairly old and the program seems to have gotten a lot smoother and quicker uh, and streamlined uh, recently. So uh, hopefully, you know, if you tried it out in the past, uh, you can see this tutorial and be like, hey, wow, that was, uh, that was pretty simple. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to put this on pause again and uh, let this fast forward to the end and we can see what these results look like in Source Filmmaker. So see you in about five minutes. And boom, we're done again. So uh, I have run my jitter removal process. So let's see what this looks like now. So uh, that is a lot smoother. So, you know, kind of got the arm going up nicely. Everything's timed out. Uh, it's a little bit smoother than the actual motion. Um, so, you know, you could use more extreme settings if you wanted to get that perfect. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much what it is. There's the tiniest bit of shake here still. Um, which I'm going to just smooth out by setting one level of trajectory smoothing. Uh, and now we're kind of uh, right there at something I'd feel comfortable importing. So uh, I'm just going to give this a rig. So uh, how you make a rig is I'm going to put this on, um, how about Magnuson? So I've got Magnuson here. Uh, all I need to do to make a uh, animation I can export with him is... Uh, Grab him, uh, set him into his default pose, so ragdoll. And now, uh, just with him selected, I'm going to export an animation. And you might be saying, what, Zach, an animation? That's not a, a rig. Uh, yes, it is. So I'm going to make this uh, Magnuson, and I'm going to save this. And then in iPySoft, whoops, in iPySoft, whoops, in iPySoft, uh, I'm going to go into Import Target Character, uh, select File, and uh, go to my place where these files are. And here we go, Magnuson.dmx. So I open that up, and boom, this is now rigged to Magnuson. And he's going to have a really broken neck, I think, when I import this, but otherwise it should be okay. So now I'm going to export animation, and I'm going to export it as a general uh, DMX file. So export. I'm going to put this in the right spot, iPySoft, and call this Scientist Clipboard, and I'm going to append it with the name uh, Magnuson, because it's for Magnuson. I'm going to save that out, and boom. Now, when I open up this, I can grab him. Whoop, turn off lighting. I can grab my buddy Maggie over here, import animation, select that animation I just saved, so somewhere in the uh, M's. Magnuson Scientist Clipboard. Drop that in. And ignore all this crap. And I think he should be animating. So now if I check him out. Whoops. Yeah, check him out. He is doing the mocap that I just recorded. So if I, uh, you know, rotate him around so we can see what he looks like in the front. No, we got him uh, kind of just going at it. So I'll put a clipboard in his hand and a pencil in the other, and uh, he'll be taking notes fairly effectively. Oop, and there's Kleiner. What are you doing, Kleiner? This is a bit laggy in recording, so you'll have to bear with me. But yeah, that's uh, that's as simple as mocap gets. Uh, whoa, God. Do with that information what you will. I think I'll try and get another uh, better iPySoft tutorial at some point done and delete this one because it seems like a bit of a train wreck. But uh, I got the information in there at least. So, uh, you know. 
Knowledge is power.